We're about to look at some of the coolest VFX renders on the internet. Two weeks ago, I asked you guys to create VFX renders for this suitcase. And today, we are going to review the top 10 submissions. In no exact particular order, the first person is Wahida Studio from Nepal. Yeah, this is really good. This is really dope. I love the animation, the way everything is just moving smoothly going from place to place everything is just moving coherently you took a note from the last challenge you make the colors a lot better i like the whole dark blue green pink i love it love it this will make me stop for a sec if i saw this on instagram really cool i would love to see more of this in our future challenges next person on our list is crown of lagos from nigeria This is really nice. This is really nice. I love the sound design of the birds, of the boat noises. And it's a very simple concept. I don't think this is camera tracking. This is more of motion tracking, tracking the actual boats. And then there are two suitcases on it. Just a simple concept. One big thing for VFX renders like this is lighting. If your lighting doesn't match, it looks crap, but this is really good. This works out really well. Next on our list is Chukudi. Let's check it out. I love the sound design. I like how you could hear the rolling of the wheels get closer. I like that. I like that. Very simple design. The tracking is, is done really well. Yeah. The object is really stuck to the floor. I can see that. Really nice tracking. The only issue I might have with this render would be the lighting. Because if I look around to see other objects in the scene, they don't have this sharp angle. You can see from the render, you can see around here, there is a sharp shadow and it's at this specific angle going in this direction. But if you look at everything else in the scene, if you look at the people in the scene, the other objects in the scene, look at this tree. It's not casting a shadow here. Everything is, it's, a, it's an overcast day. So there's not a lot of shadow. So next time find the lighting HDRI that matches the actual scene. Thank you for participating in the challenge. Next stop is blend with Dinian. <coughs> I like the concept and I don't think you are doing anything special with this are you in terms of compositing I don't know it looks like you're just matching the movement of the product on the water yeah and it actually looks good without doing the extra stuff yeah I, I really like this I don't know if you're doing anything as regards simulation or whatnot just let me know in the comments this is actually nice the only thing I would have done differently personally would be to make sure my interpolation is linear because as you can see, it slows down somewhere in the middle. And that looks very weird. If it's just linear, it just keeps going and cuts off. But the, with the interpolation now, it slows down in the middle of the river, which is a very weird thing. Well, this concept is really cool. Really cool. I, I like how everything is everything varies with the submissions. Everyone isn't doing the same exact thing. You guys are going creative with this one. Up next is Aliyu Abu from Nigeria. Yeah, this is really nice. Wow, 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 wow. This is really nice. I recently did a project like this where I where I use drones to drop a product. So it, it looks familiar. This is really cool. And the lighting is dope, man. You can see the highlight on the top of the suitcase. It makes a lot of sense. And the, the direction of the shadows, it matches the actual footage. Dope, dope, dope. This, this works. I love it. I think it would have been a little bit better if the drones flew away <laughs> because if a drone is supposed to deliver something i doubt if the drone just stays there but yeah this is a really dope concept nice work man thank you very much for participating you guys should check him out check out every single person i mentioned i'll put their instagram links in the description wow now we have gotten to our top five let's take a look at the top five submissions in my opinion this is just vibes i'm not judging this by any specific criteria this time I'm just looking at the vibes, looking at the animation, the lighting, see how well everything is put together. So, next on our list, we have ScreenPy 3D from India. I really like this one. 
Yeah, I've seen a lot of this on Instagram when there is a billboard and the product pops out. Yo, I love the sound design. You guys, you guys are really using proper sound design here. The sound design of the wind, sound design of wishes, ambient, um, ambient city sound design. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I like the little detail. It shakes off, pops out. Yeah, one of my favorites. Love it. Thank you so much for participating in this challenge. I love to see you in any future challenge we do. Next, we have Aegon. Oh, I just noticed these other ones that are down there. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, I've seen this a lot on Instagram too, with the entire uh, building turning into a cloth simulation. This this is actually a very cool concept. But what I don't get is the the balloons. Are those meant to be balloons? First of all, please answer me in the comments. Are those meant to be balloons? One and two. Uh, are they meant to carry the product? Because if they are meant to float up with the product, the animation should look a lot different. Because as you can see here, it seems like the balloons are going through the building. Yeah, you can see the balloons are literally passing through the building. Yeah, that might be a very little oversight. What would have been really cool would have been to add some simulations that interact with the inside of the walls. That would have been really nice. Someone did something like this on the Discord community. Yeah, I saw something like this and it looks really cool because it's interacting with the walls. By the way, if you're not part of my Discord community, you should absolutely join in. It's for 3D artists, animators, designers like you and I. Just working together, learning together, asking questions, collaborating, all of that good stuff. I'd love to see you there. Link is in the description. Sweet. Now we have gotten to the top three. This is my personal favorite out of all the submissions, the top 10 submissions. So let's get it. First on the list is Elsin Kenny from South Africa. Yeah, I really like this one. It's, it's quite short, sure, yeah? <laughs> I really like this one because of the character animation. This is something that will absolutely stop me in my tracks on Instagram. And if this was in a portrait mode, just try to make a portrait version of this and upload on Instagram and tag me. This is really cool. The character is glitching and flickering. I don't know where that comes from. I know it's probably some rendering issue or, or mesh issue with the character or rigging. I don't know. You should probably look into that. But apart from that, I love the concept. I did not expect someone to do a character stuff. But yeah, this is really nice. Suitcase in every size, tailored to every, tailored to every what now? To every adventure. Sweet. Sweet little copy at the end. Love it. I'd love to see more of this in the future challenges that we do. And next we have Ado K Jr. Let's check it out. This is this is this is this is one of my favorite concepts here because you just put the product in between the cars which makes a lot of sense you can see the cars are coming from behind and they are just sliding in between just just makes it part of the entire vibe and the pac-man thing <laughs> what is with you guys and pac-man yeah i love it love the way it lands love the way it rolls and then this last one that just floats in love the entire concept I don't know, it seems like there are two light sources because the main shadow is looking good, it's in the right direction, it doesn't have the right intensity, so there are some comp comping work that I could do here, some compositing work, but it has the right direction and it looks good enough. But then I see some other shadows on the other area, which looks very weird, these other shadows on this other side, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what caused that, so yeah, look into that. And another thing I would have done would be like in my last tutorial that I, would, I would love to put cg cars so you can cast shadows on the cars that would have been really cool if you just get cg cars for one two three four five six cars so when the shadow comes in it covers on the cars that would have improved it a lot better but still the concept is really nice love it love it thank you so much for participating in the challenge and finally my favorite from the top 10 submissions cgi blend from india <laughs> Like you guys know why this is my favorite it's for obvious reasons the attention to detail is too sweet it's like i have to pick out things one by one first of all the entire uh, recreation of the lawn the entire recreation of the lawn then the lawn opens up then you see the product comes out then the handle pulls up 
then the entire generation of the flowers and the garden so cool man a lot of things are going on with the cars that are going around it this is such a perfect video i would like to know where you found this video from this is such a perfect video for this the cars are just going around and all this is just happening really nice i could watch this again and again and again and finally the blue the blue product turns into a yellow design product which i really love and if it just sits on the flower dope stuff man i really love this. this is my favorite from this challenge and i would love to see you bring your creativity to more challenges in the future congratulations for winning this one i really 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 love this post this on instagram if you have not already and tag me you guys follow this guy cgi blend follow everyone else if you love their work and um, i love doing these challenges i would love to do a lot more of this in the future don't forget to join my community my discord community is free for 3d artists check the link in the description and like the video if you like any of this subscribe to my channel if you love 3d stuff if you want to get into 3d you're an enthusiast or you are a serious 3d artist we do challenges like this i drop advice for 3d animators 3d artists like you and i so catch you in the next 